I do love surfing big waves if I get the chance. The power, the push. The adrenaline of surfing, it's just like a feeling that you just want to continue chasing it, you know? If I could, I would live on a beach, <laughs> live on it and just surf my whole life. Matua This is my local board riders in Waikato. We are placed right on the beach, so the surf is right in front of us. This is kind of a safe place for us to come and hang out, play some pool, drink a little, remember all the surfers before our time. So I've been brought up in Waikato most of my life. My dad's Brent Hutchison. He used to be um, a good New Zealand surfer, so he used to win national titles. This is my dad. That's sick, he was sponsored by Rip Curl back in his time, and then when my time came, I got sponsored as well. First experience surfing would have been like about seven or eight. My mum gave me like a foam board and she's like, take this out and catch a wave. And then I went out on this foam board from our surf club and stood up and went across the wave for the first time. And then I went into my first nationals at 11. Yeah, I made it all the way to the finals, got fourth. Yeah, I just remember getting like sick prizes for getting fourth. And yeah, from then on, I was like, oh, I'm gonna keep surfing. <laughs> I used to be one of those kids who walked around in bare feet, jumping off the bridge in like my school, intermediate school uniform. You kind of, if you're from Waitara, get told that you are hoary and stuff, and like, it's like a low income area. Just, just kind of nasty stuff. My point of view is always going to be thankful for like everything I've been given from this town. <laughs> This is all coral, washed up coral. Just insane where surfing has led me. Every kid dreams of wanting to go elsewhere to surf, you know, and Tahiti is like something else, you know. Small town, white a girl, traveling to a, like long lost islands. <laughs> Moana's arrived. <laughs> I'm not sure it's wet. <laughs> like before this trip, I was like so excited, had all my equipment ready, but everything was breaking around us. So I was kind of left with nothing. And then the last thing to do was kind of reach out to the community as I don't have any sponsors. So with all those donations from our community, I was lucky enough to buy all my equipment. You can never be too sure as a surfer when it comes to the equipment, just because you don't know how crazy these waves are gonna be and like, how much different it is gonna be from a home break like Waishita.
I'm about to get a tattoo of a French penny. I love flowers, so it's quite exciting. Um, I'm not nervous. I'm here for the experience for <laughs> entirety. <laughs> Just gonna surrender to the uncomfortable feeling. And relax. <laughs> Definitely feel like we've got a connection with Tahiti. They're our cousins who speak French. <laughs> Polynesian French, sorry. We found out that the Tainui Waka was made out of the wood from here. Crazy to think that we once lived in something so tropical and beautiful and now live in cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Kite hura ite iho o tō pitomata, me ke mi rawa koe i tō tsua nui, ka tahi, me fai koe i te maiatanga. I do like getting hurt. I do like falling off and like getting smashed in the waves or like getting stuck in the whitewash and can't breathe and all that. I kind of look at it as an advantage because when this happens, you're kind of like, oh, I'm gonna go back and catch a bigger one or I'm gonna go try again, you know, and like not fall off. That mentality of trying again, no matter what. Surfing, you really do go through a lot of new challenges just to overcome that fear that we all hold. One thing that really pushes me to continue on is just beautiful places like this, you know, like always having fun, meeting new people, learning new cultures, and yeah, surfing at the end of it all. Ki te tahi wahi nui tonu o tō ao i tō umanga mahi. Ko te huarahi ko tahi anahe e pehi ake ai te ora ko tō whai kia tutuki taumata nei o mahi. Ko te huarahi ko tahi kia tutuki taumata nei o mahi ko tō remureretanga. Mena kārea nō kia kitea, whai a tonu tia. Kaua e whakaai noa ki te aha noeho. Penei nā take katoa o te nākau, ka mōhe o koe hei te wāka ki tea. I'm stoked. It's so much fun. They did say at school, surfing's not a proper career. You're not going to make a lifestyle out of it. But we have. <laughs> we are. Surfing can be anything we kind of want it to be. That younger generation are really stepping up and changing the whole game of surfing, so it's kind of like, what's next for it, you know? Someday in the future, I want to be that person to give those kids in our community that opportunity to come overseas to like surf breaks, to just surf and live. Just help out where I can to kind of get them to their dreams and goals in life, because at the end of the day, nothing's impossible.
Take it.